hi beauties welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll show you how i made this beautiful relays braided ponytail wig without ventilating it's completely handsome and this tutorial is going to be very detailed so even if it's your first time you should be able to make a braided cap like this after watching this video so right now i'll be cutting this into two equal parts all right but i'm cutting it into two equal parts is because i want it to be very long but if you want it to be shorter you can cut into three you can cut into four it depends on what you want as you can see it's two equal parts i want it to look beautiful like i'm going to use this and after this i'm gonna cut same pack same cutting too what i do most times i always want to brush out some strands hanging around so it will smooth when i'm picking the attachments all right so just go around I'm gonna go ahead and pick my strands. You know why we are doing this? Okay, fine. In case you don't know why I'm doing this, this is to make it look slim. You know, when you put it in hot water, it's going to come out where it won't look bulky. Yeah. So guys, this is it. This is how it looks like. It's long. So you go ahead and brush through. Yeah. Going to apply my hair cream. You can use any type of hair cream you have. So for now, I'll be using this. Rub and rub and rub. So I'll be brushing through again. So if you've been following my videos, you will now have this makeshift box where I do my braids. Next, I'm going to cut the hair into some strands. We'll be needing about 14, 5 small strands at both ends and 4 slightly bigger strands in the middle. I'm going to use this like this. This is it. Then we start with this. You hold it this way and then like this. This is it. You pull this and add. Like this. You add up. like this keep adding keep populating it right you get there this is it i want to show you something when you're adding this you don't just add it up like this and start breathing you have to fix it in here and you hold you use this other hand and hold it and then you're going to hide this with this other attachment and then you braid. I think if you follow my 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 work, if you follow how I do it, you can get it right. you can twist your hand this way and then hide it i think this is actually better for you if you are learning this so it has different ways you can get this right so you're going to break down I have finished braiding. I feel like this should be enough. Even if it turns out not to be enough, I can easily just go ahead and braid some more. So this is the net I'll be using for my wig. Before sewing the braid onto the net, I'll need to first of all mark the net using my eye pencil. 
I will go ahead and mark it following my natural hairline. This will ensure that the cap fits my head perfectly. Now, we are getting ready to start sewing our braids. I will be using this mannequin hair to carry out that. You need some office pins like this to hold the net onto the cap to keep it in place when you start sewing. There is one important thing I need to do before I start sewing. I must first of all mark the areas where I'll be sewing the braids. This will ensure that my work comes out neat. I'll be using my eyeliner for this. I'm drawing the lines from my hairlines to meet at the crown of the mannequin head. Now that we are done drawing the lines, it's time to start sewing. I'm using a straight needle because I don't have the curved one, which is the most suitable for this. If you have a curved needle, you can go ahead and use that. As you can see, I'm starting the sewing from the slimmest part of the braid and sewing all the way to the crown. Plus, I'm using a black thread, which matches the hair color I'm working with. So guys, make sure to use any color that works for you. I am almost done sewing the braid on the places I marked. Remember, every braid we meet at the crown of the mannequin's head. Now that the braid looks complete, I need to start holding them together so that they can look thin. I'll keep sewing them together until I see that the ponytail looks good. Finally, it's looking good already. It's time for my baby hair. Oh yeah. Now I am ventilating some baby hair, which I kind of like on all of my wigs. This is totally optional. Now I have to cut out the excess net on all corners of the wig. Next, I'm adding a little bit of edge control to my baby hair. It's already looking good. Using got to be glued is totally optional too. I like to use it since it makes the braid firmer and ensures they last longer. Whoop. Finally, it's time to try the wig on. Wow, looks perfect on my head. Can't you see this baby? <laughs> Now, I will need to blend the cap with my concealer to match the color of my skin. So guys, this is how it turned out. It's so beautiful. If you have any questions or contributions, make sure to drop them down below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial and hit that subscribe button before you go. I'll see you around.